G'day gamers, Vada G here. Exciting news with Electra Nachos uh, getting her tier 3 skill. So very, very pumped about this. I've had Electra as my main. She's always been a favorite of mine, uh, Electra, within the, within the Marvel Universe. I've had her as my main icon in-game uh, since day one. Since day one of this game, and I'm kind of hyped. Um... Yeah, it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool to see her there. Daredevil uniform. Uh, let's see what they actually say uh, in, on the actual sneak peeks. Uh, Fuel fought against this superhero and survived, so she's going to be a hero. Uh, there is a tier 3 sign in the bottom uh, right hand side. Uh, check out the new looks of this deadly mercenary who is an expert in all types of battles. Uh, introduce, uh, we'll announce more details through the patch details later. So, very, very cool. I'm, I'm hyped for this. She could be a nothing character. Um, but for me, I'm excited that they're giving a really old character in the game a rework uh, and a tier 3 skill. And they haven't kind of left some of these characters in the dust, which I suspected maybe they would have done. Uh, you know, just going off recent updates in terms of Green Goblin, Black Cat. Yeah, sure, they've been given significant reworks uh, in terms of uniforms uh, and skills and do a lot more damage and that sort of stuff. But kind of left in the dust still in terms of the power curve. Uh, because they have not been given, uh, a, you know, awakened skills or tier three skills. So really, really cool that uh, Electra is going to be given a tier three skill, and I will definitely be advancing her 100%. Uh, only small hiccup that I do have is a few days ago I was doing what's it called? I think it's Heroic Path or whatever. It's basically the free, basically the free thing in game where you rank up one character for free, and I, I did Ant Man, right? So one of the base characters. Um, and you get a few books, and I accidentally, I accidentally claimed the books. Um, I accidentally claimed the books. Instead of leaving them just sitting there, I claimed the books, which was just crazy to do. Uh, and and uh, there was four books sitting in my inbox. So as a result, uh, I I just ranked up Wong. I, I tier three Wong, which you know t Wong's actually seems pretty solid actually as a unit. I'm probably going to build him up for World Boss Legend because he does seem pretty damn good. Um, but as a result, I'm left with five speed books. So could be a little bit before I rank her up, but not too much. She's already at level 70 because of story mode. Gears will be 25 in no time, and I probably need to re-roll her ISO from I am also Groot. Where will she fit in the game? Honestly, no clue. No clue at all as to where she fits in. She fits in nowhere at the moment. She's a Shadowland clear for, for whatever level you want to use her on, probably up to about level 60 uh, if you have Pierce on cards like mine. But she's always been a character that has a reasonable amount of DPS, um, and she jumps around screen a lot and all that side of, side of things. My personal uh, preference would be for her to not be speed, because we have so many speed characters already. But if her new uniform makes her combat, that would be epic, um, because in terms of combat villain... Uh, sorry, in terms of combat hero females... It's pretty slim pickings, right? When Crescent is the best that we've got uh, for that category, uh, followed probably like Valkyrie and then by Sif. You know, to me, to me, this character, she, she, you know, she has her place and whatnot, but she's not really great for Alliance Battle Extreme. She's really not very good for any other PVE modes either. Um, yet she is the she is the Alliance Battle Extreme meta at, at this current time, and we have her built up, and we've got Odin's Blessings and stuff on her, and quite frankly, I don't think she deserves uh, to be built up, but it would be really, really cool if Elektra did get, did get that title and did become a combat type um, female because there is a real lack uh, of strong characters in that zone. Will she be strong? I don't know. She's totally free to play. She's the original character in the game. Um... Probably gives me a little bit of hope, the fact that she's been releasing, uh, going to be released with Moon Knight, who should also be like a pretty powerful character and was given some really, you know, amazing treatment uh, in his last uniform upgrade. Um, so, and his awakened skill. So, yeah, high hopes for Elektra. Either way, like I said, uh, she's she's been my main icon in game for a hell of a long time. And I will rank her up and tier 3 her regardless because she is just such a favorite of mine um, in this game and just general in the uh, in the Marvel Universe. And from the movies, from the Daredevil series and all sorts of things, I just really, I think she's a really cool character. Uh, a female assassin, a female mercenary and, you know, a martial arts expert. So 
you know, let's let's see what happens. Let me know what your thoughts are on on uh, Electric Eyes, and fingers crossed for an OP character. All right, see ya.